Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Rachel. If you are new, I would love it if you would subscribe, like, share, or not, but it is a free way that you can help your girl out. Today's video, I am so excited. It is another Goodwill haul. I know, I feel like I just posted one, but I found a lot of really cute items. So let's just get on into it because it's going to be a long video. All right, so, oh. I cleared off my spot, so all my Dollar Tree stuff's not back there, and I fixed my sign. It is no longer upside down, but the first thing I got was this big, beautiful wreath. I did pay $5 for it. This was in the center of it, um, but I didn't, I didn't realize that I was going to do a video, or I guess I forgot, um, but this was in the center of it. It looks super cute, but... I didn't need that, but as you see, the whole thing was $5. I really like this wreath. You guys, I couldn't make that for $5. Um, the burlap alone in one shade would be $5. So I got that wreath. I think I'm going to try to take a picture and make put my head in the middle of the wreath and do that as a thumbnail. I also, my kids have like a train table thing. Oh my gosh, it's driving me nuts. But um, my kids have like a little wooden train table and I thought this stool would go perfect. This was $3. I didn't see this, but I'm just going to sand it down to make sure they don't get no splinters or anything. And I think I might um, stain it. But it's very good quality, like it's not rickety, it's not shaky, wobbly, or anything. But for $3, this is a cute little stool. I probably could have made it, but for $3, I'll just, I'll just buy it. I also found a couple cute pairs of shoes. These, like, legitly looked brand new. I did wear them around Goodwill. It might be gross, but I had little socks on, and I just slipped my feet right in them and wore them around. These are the Lauren Conrad. They got this little bow right here. Why does it look so gross? It's not, though. But they have um, this little bow right here, and it's just so cute. I thought this would be really cute just to slip on with anything. They are in a size, oh my gosh, I don't know because I can't see. A size six and a half, I want to say. A five? Oh, a six medium. Whatever that means. But they are super, super cute. I love those. I'm trying to get into some flats because I think... Oh, it's driving me nuts. I think flats look really cute with certain outfits. I also found these rock and candy, I think. Yeah, rock and candy. They look like that. Um, again, you guys, they don't look like they were worn that much. They look so much cleaner in person than on camera. I'm not for sure why, but they have that little buckle right there, and I just think they're adorable. Um, so I might insert clips, but you guys, their shoe that shoes they look the same on everybody's feet. And I did not take any of this stuff out of the bags. Oh, you guys, I forgot. I did buy a couple clothes. I found, like, I hope it looks as amazing on me now as it did when I tried it on at Goodwill. But I finally found, like, this business, like, fancy blazer. And it fits me to the T. Or at least it did when I tried it on. But it is so freaking cute. It is by Madison. It is a size 6. Oh, you guys, this, oh, sorry about the lighting. Let's see if I can casually. Oh. I will try this on for you, but it's like that texture, and I absolutely love this. I will try it on for you and insert little clips or whatever. And then I also found this shirt. It's Honey Bell. I just really liked this zipper detail. I don't know. It has this gold and black zipper detail. It is, don't know what size, but it's got, it's white, like a creamy white with these little speckles in it. But how cute is this? And I will try all this stuff on for you guys, like I said. I also found, because um, the nights kind of do get a little chilly, I also found this um, Aeropostale. I got it in an extra large. This just looks super cute. Um, Ober, 
it's a little short sleeve. I don't know. I just, it looked really cute with the outfit that I had on that day. It's like a little jacket, but it's not. And I love stuff like this. I could wear it summertime at night and I could also um, layer it in the wintertime and it would be amazing. I also found me a pair of shorts and they are Aeropostale again. I think these are a size, size 10 Aeropostale. Aeropostale. Um, I haven't tried these on, but I like my shorts to be a little loose and baggy. I'm hoping these will be, but I just love like this burgundy um, maroonish collar, whatever you want to call it. Sorry about the noise from the bag. And then I also found these jeans. Uh, Roma Studio? R-O-M-A? I don't know, guys. I suck at pronouncing stuff. They are in a size 11. Can you guys see that? Size 11. I'm hoping they'll be a little bit big on me and loose or just fit me good. Oh, I smacked myself in the head, but the ends look like this, and I just really like that. I'm very short. I'm only like 5'2", so... I'm I have a hard time finding jeans. I usually just get crop stuff, and I just recently learned that. I am just recently getting back into, like, not wearing pajamas all day because I'm just a mom. I'm home all the time. I just run errands for everybody in my family. Uh, like, everybody in my family is, like, they're pipeliners, guys. They run equipment. They are never home. They are gone all the time. So not only do I do, like, my own, like, take care of my own home when my husband's not here but I also help my mom and you know it's just I'm in my PJs all the time <laughs> and I'm tired of doing it like girl get yourself together so if you see a lot of clothing hauls or like me trying to ask you for fashion tips <laughs> um, just comment below and like help a girl out because I'm not the best at it I like to pretend I know what I'm doing but I don't but yes, I love these jeans. They've got like the little pockets. And so what I hear, little pockets um, make your butt look more round and rump, rumpish. I don't know, guys. All right. And I'm sorry I didn't take this stuff out of the bag, guys. I'm so sorry. I found, I need to clean this up a bit. But I'm wanting to, oh, I didn't even know that was on there. I am wanting to start doing like fake plants inside look I can keep a plant or anything alive outside but when I bring it in my house I kill it so I want to start doing some fake plants and this does need clean but it just I love this it's old looking and I just think this would look so cute hung up throughout my house I also got a new backdrop I don't never use my backdrop, but I do have like the bars and stuff, but this was on sale at Walmart and I'm going to try and start using a backdrop for like when I try on outfits. I need to get like a big rug though. So you guys can't see like my ugly purple carpet, indoor, outdoor carpet downstairs. You guys, I haven't been putting prices, but it's not like you guys can get this stuff anyway. So um, this was $2.99. I, the basket's really cute, but I don't want the, the basket. I just, oh, I just want the plants inside to see if I can, like, maybe make that look good. Or, I don't know, I'll figure something out. I do like this basket. Oh, there's another one of those little gym things. Uh, let me know, can I just cut this hard stuff, like the foam stuff out? It's not, like, traditional foam. But I would like to put this fake plant inside of this one. Alright, and I also, I have like a sewing machine that I don't know how to use, still in the box. It was our Nan's, I got it when she passed away. And I also got like this big wooden shelf that's got like the little um, spindles of thread like there's like 20 like little pegs that you can hang it off of and it's got drawers and just all kinds of stuff which um i don't really use none of it i have like this little red box that i use it's got like needle and thread and just like the simplest things in it because that's about all i can do 
But I seen this box and it reminded me of like the little old sewing kits. Let me know if I'm correct. I'm not big on the liner that's inside. I might take it out. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. It was $1.99. I, can you guys see that? It was $1.99. I don't know if I want to use it for something else and rip the insides out or just leave the insides. Or if I want to turn this into like my little um, home sewing kit. I don't know, but I really like it. It's a little beat up. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's a little beat up in places. But I just, I love that so much. All right. Now, my exciting, exciting purchases. Do you guys know, like, those Ryla packs? This is not a Ryla pack. But it is, like, a, a version of it. Here are, um, here are. Here is, I mean... Let me see if I can get this in frame. This is what it looks like. It is like nylonish, burgundy, tan, gold, and a little bit of brown leather. But this is called the Latch Mama. And it is the book bag or like here's the um, shoulder part. It does have the back where you can slip in. It has the bottle pockets, and I don't know what this is. Maybe where you put your um, little uh, poopy diaper bags, like to throw the diapers away. I absolutely love this, you guys. It is like brand new. It has that snap, and you also have to unzip it to get inside. Like this has metal rods in it all the way around. This is what the inside looks like. It's got a bunch of pockets. And I don't know, guys, but I absolutely love this thing. And I literally didn't even pay $5 for this. And it's, like, legit brand new. It is, like, let me know if you guys have ever heard it. Latch Mama. When I've seen this, I'm like, oh, i got to have that. Um, I love this. It's got, like, another little zipper right here. But legit, guys, this looks brand new. Like, this has not been used. I love this. It's amazing. It's going to be my new diaper bag, even though I almost don't need one anymore, but it will be my carry on or carry around bag other than my purse. I also found this purse. It is, I think, New York and Company. And I've, yeah, New York and Company. And I also found a really cute, uh, like, tan leather and black um, Steve Madden, but I put it back. But it just looks like this. It's a big, huge bag. Just kind of plain. I really like the strappy detail and like the quilted. The inside, I'm not going to lie, is a little dirty. It needs clean, but my purses usually look worse than that. All right, and my last purchase. I have been getting into crossbody bags for when it's just me and I'm not taking my kids places. I've been trying to at least once a week get out without the kiddos because they drive me nuts. But I found this coach. Let me stand up. I want to know. I can't tell if it's real or not. And I don't care because I literally paid like less than $5. I think purses are like $3.99 or $4.99. And they're all a set price. But it says coach. But like usually all the coach bags I have will have like coach somewhere on the metal. This one doesn't. And I also know coach, like if it's got a plane outside, it will have like the C pattern inside. And if it's got like the C pattern on the outside, the inside will be plain. It does have this, but this means absolutely nothing because I have a fake coach purse and it has that too. It even came with like little papers and I know it's not real. I don't know if this one is real, but this is what the inside looks like. It's got the two little pockets, a little zipper pocket on the side. I was looking for, oh my gosh, sorry guys. I was looking for a little black crossbody bag because I have like um, a, a, a dark, is it dark camel? I don't know. I have a brownish looking one, but it's way darker than this and I absolutely love it. But it's got uh, adjustable things on each side. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Or um, I'll try and look it up and see if it's real. But you guys, that is everything for my little Goodwill haul. Let me know what you guys think. I think I scored some really good stuff this time. Uh, they had lots of furniture. 
They had some really good pieces. I really was trying to not go crazy and buy everything just to show you guys. Like, I wanted to get stuff that I'm going to use. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.